So this is it. <laughs> We're finally moving out of my childhood home so the reason why we're moving is because there's only me and my mom staying in this house right now a lot of my family are away for the time being so we've decided to kind of move to another house that's a lot smaller that's suitable for two people until my sister and my dad comes back honestly i wasn't even planning on making this video i didn't vlog any of the moving process really not much at all just because i thought and it has been such like a wild and frenetic and kind of stressful time but I thought I'd just say a final goodbye and do a final vlog in this room which is really where I started vlogging I guess this is also the place where I feel like I had the most like heart to hearts and you know so much of my life has been spent in these very four walls that it feels very point poignant An emotional journey but not one that I've been dwelling on a lot because I've been more occupied with the actual moving of things like having to clear out my whole room most of this wardrobe is emptied out like my cupboards and everything this table which has been passed down through the years from like M I think to Dorcas and to me it's now all stripped and empty so I haven't had the time to really sit down and like think about what this means to lose this space which is really important to me because I value space so much it's been like a learning process through the years I grew up sharing this room with my aunt and my helper there was a point in time where three of us were staying in this very room together to after that sharing with my sister of course and it's only in the past I don't know like quite recently that I got this room all to myself started to make it really feel like it was home to me I mean it's always been home but you know having like this is my room and like I get to do my things to it and that's why I wanted to make that room makeover video so much because um, that was fun and I really did vlog like so much of it I have so much footage but I just wasn't satisfied with it so I don't know if I'll ever release it if you still want to see it let me know that learning process of negotiating my boundaries within this room and getting to know what it means to have my own space after coming from not having it for so long for so many years of my life and of course there's a lot of residual emotions also not just about this room but about the whole house like it's all i have ever known even though we stayed in different places before i was just too young to remember to remember them really and this is the house where i grew up in from i guess like seven six or seven all the way up till now and i'm 22 so it's been ages and ages so it just feels like i'm definitely leaving something behind a part of my heart and part of all my childhood years and teenage years walking around and knowing this place like the back of my hand that's gonna change now so last time i'll be sitting on this bed and the last time i might be in this room ever but I think I'm gonna miss it a lot actually Even though I like to think that I'm not a very sentimental person Like, I guess I don't dwell on the past all too often Generally, I tend to move on quite fast from things I don't know, I've just always found it quite easy to look ahead and think about what's coming next and be excited for that and plan for that instead But I think there's also preciousness and value in, you know, cherishing what has happened, what this room and what this house gave me. I guess this video is just a tribute to that. It's really <laughs> nothing crazy. It's just a girl looking back on her room and thinking about everything that has happened here. It's an ode to everyone who has had to move out of their, their childhood homes, say goodbye to all of that, and um, move on to what's next. It's time.